What's up, Longhorn fans? Long time no see. We are only one day away from the start of the 2022 Texas Longhorns football season. Um, I do not anticipate that we are going to have another 5-7 and seven season because we've got a lot of new talent we got some experience coming in and um, they're determined to not let what happened last year happen this year it started in the Oklahoma game when Texas was up 28-7 in the first quarter they built the lead too fast and it allowed Oklahoma to get back in the game and and finally win it in the final moments and um, from there on it just the Longhorns just completely fell apart and also that that loss to Kansas in in Austin no less it was it was just inexcusable and just sickening to lose to a team we have no business losing to. First up on our list, we got the uh, the Louisiana Monroe. Um, we got Louisiana Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, and um, that is going to be. I mean, that's a tune-up game, and a uh, it's going to determine gonna be a really it's gonna be a really interesting I mean Texas should win big but um, they and they can't be looking ahead to our second game which is gonna be which is gonna be probably the toughest of all um, play Louisiana Monroe a uh, potentially an overmatched team and then the next week they play Alabama so uh, Louisiana Monroe so Texas playing Louisiana Monroe they cannot be looking past Louisiana Monroe and um, onto Alabama now Alabama it's a rematch of the 2009 TCS championship where um, where Texas I mean early on Texas was just Texas was on fire early in that game for only five plays um, they were stuffing Alabama and um, for the five plays that Colt McCoy was in they were moving it well but then Colt McCoy got hurt and um, Texas did nothing for the first half and um, Alabama Alabama totally they just took over that game on the ground with Mark Ingram and Trent Richardson including a damaging pick six for a touchdown in the final seconds of the first half, half and then then in the second half with a freshman quarterback Texas makes a bid at a at an unlikely comeback and um, gets it down to three three point deficit and gets the ball back with about with about three minutes to play but then they uh, they get they get they pummel our they pummel the freshman quarterback and um, Alabama recovers it inside the five and um, they punch it in and then they get an interception and then and then they put in another touchdown to uh, ultimately squash any 
Texas comeback. Of course, in the second half, Texas's defense really shut down Bama's offense. The only the only touchdowns, two touchdowns they got came off of our turnovers when the when the when the game was on the line. And um, Texas has just not been not been the power that they have been. Um, they have just been completely irrelevant for for the past 12 years. We've gone through like um, four coaches um, and um, that's not gonna that's not good for a program and it and the losing also hurts hurts the um, recruiting but we did get a um, a, a true a freshman quarterback from Ohio State his name is Ewers I think um, we're gonna see what he is made of um, he played against Westlake in the uh, state championship game in 2020 which um, Westlake played against played against my high school in the regular season of that or they had been playing against my high school in the regular season the past uh, eight years and um, so now uh, and then we get the game after Alabama hopefully that's the one where we come in with a lot of confidence although I really don't see Texas beating Alabama especially with a freshman quarterback who is um, playing in his first marquee game if if it if it becomes that and then we play U, we play UTSA after Bama and then the next week we play Texas Tech, Tech in Lubbock and um, I in the absence of some unforeseen ca catastrophe I'm going to be I'm going to be at I'm going to be in the building when we play them. I'm going to be I'm going to be in Lubbock at that game when we play them. My first ever tech, my first ever Longhorns game in a in an opponent's stadium which I had always hoped for and dreamed of. And then the next week we play West Virginia at home and um, West Virginia, no, yes, we play West Virginia at home. Yeah, and um, we lost to West Virginia last year and um, in the midst of our, our collapse from our game against TCU. And then we put, then we go play we play the Oklahoma Sooners in the Cotton Bowl, which um, was a major turning point in our season. It's um, that was pretty much when the when the bottom fell out for for the Horns last year. It was just it just really seemed to be a microcosm. It some, turned out to be a thing, sign of things to come. In the big collapse in, in the Cotton Bowl, and then we got then we're hosting Iowa State at home. Iowa State has been a team that has had our number for the last few years, um, and uh, before then, Texas had had Iowa State's number, and um, they had only lost to Iowa State in that that disastrous 2010 season after beating Nebraska and supposedly saving their season and then we we play 
And then we go to Stillwater to play Oklahoma State. That's going to be another tough one, another toss-up. And then we play Kansas State in Manhattan. Um, we've owned Kansas State the last the last several years we've played them. And then we play TCU at home, and we've uh, we beat them last year in their home place. And um, we're going to have to really be playing our best to beat them. Then, of course, we're going into Lawrence to play to play one of the worst teams in the Big 12, the Kansas Jayhawks. And hopefully Texas has learned from last year's debacle against Kansas and um, does not let Kansas beat them again. And then they got the season finale against Baylor. And once again, I'm going to be at that Baylor game. It's the day after Thanksgiving. I'm going. That is my home game for the for the uh, year. And um, hopefully Texas does make a bid for a really good bowl game. But um, the game against Bama, I really... That might be a that might be too much for Texas to do. We're gonna see how these horns respond this year. This is gonna be a show me year for Sarkeesian. And this could be if he does not win this year, he might get another chance, but um, I don't know, but he might not. So this is gonna be a show me year. We'll see you tomorrow. Hook 'em horns, Texas fight. And we're coming for you. All of our opponents, we're coming for you.